From my heart and from my hand Why don't people understand my intention? Well, good morning. We're just in the process of prepping the grey mini to go back to the body shop because finally the fuel tank bracket arrived so he needs to correct uh, the problem. Um, but actually the reason I wanted to talk to you today was actually to talk about the feedback that you gave regarding the electric mini. So let's go inside. So uh, first of all just a big thank you to everybody that subscribed uh, to the channel over the last uh, year, almost a year and a half now. Uh, we just crossed over the 1000 mark uh, uh, earlier in the week, uh, which is amazing because we started this channel as just a way to record what we were doing to share amongst the family. So again, uh, thank you so much and uh, we'll try and keep bringing you interesting comment that might be useful. So obviously on that front, uh, the next topic is actually the electric conversion that we want to do on the Clubman. And uh, I asked you a series of questions to get your feedback because we weren't sure where we wanted to go with the overall direction, whether we wanted to do a, you know, almost like a manic conversion or if we do a sympathetic conversion, just wasn't sure. So I posted five questions and you guys came in with feedback so uh, yeah let's review the feedback and go from there so i think i'm gonna to have to use my uh, phone to refresh my memory for this so forgive me uh, if i keep looking down to review this but the first question was should we wrap it or should we paint the clubman and 17 people commented 11 of them said paint five said wrap one was undecided there was a question from Dave at Classic Car Cave regarding the cost difference between the two. And basically what we can figure out at this point in time is that it would have cost around about 2,700 euros to wrap the Clubman versus paint. And the paint looked like it's going to cost somewhere in the region of 5,000 euros uh, to do. So there is quite a significant difference. The next question Again, 17 people responded, uh, and it was to do with the front end, whether we restore the steel front end or whether we change it to go to a fiberglass flip uh, front end. And three people said flip, 13 said keep the steel, and one person again was undecided. And then the third question was regarding the paint color. Now, whether we should keep it original or should we change the color? And if we change the color, we needed to stick within the blue palette because I didn't want to change the documentation for the car. Uh, and actually eight people said, keep the original color. Four people said electric blue. Two people said Caribbean blue and one person said island blue. So looks like we're just gonna refresh uh, the uh, color itself. Someone in the comments did mention about the decals down the side and uh, I think I agree uh, those do need to be removed when we do the refresh anyway and uh, probably not go for a side graphic on this one. Question four was to do with the interior and we had 13 comments. Six people said leave, seven people said change. But interestingly enough nearly all of you agreed that actually the dashboard should change and either go for the flat dash that you see on the Coopers or go for a central binnacle. It seems like the square design is not too uh, popular. Uh, and the last question was to do with the disc brake color. And you came back with feedback on six people said blue, four people said silver or gray, two people were undecided. So at this point in time, it looks pretty clear based on your feedback that we should basically do a very sympathetic restoration, try and keep it as original as possible and focus on doing the electric drivetrain. Um, so we need to figure out schedules for this uh, because obviously we had some challenges with the grain you know, on the body shop. It will need to go to the body shop to have some basic rust repair done and to be repainted. Um, but we can figure that out over the next few weeks. So again, guys, thank you so much for all the feedback. It really does help make some decisions regarding this particular build. And thank you very much for the subscriptions. 
There are a couple of people that are regular viewers and commenters, and I just wanted to thank them as well for the feedback they've given. Uh, Keith from Classic Mini Workshop, Dave from Classic Car Cave, uh, we've also got Randy from Lone Star Mini, um, let's see now, James Barry, um, Alex from Classic Mini Details, and the list goes on. Um, again, I'm sorry if I didn't sh give a shout out to everybody that's commented on this particular project. Um, I'll try and figure out some way to thank you moving forward. But again, thank you so much. Uh, we now need to shift to the planning stage to try and get everything scheduled and make a final decision on the last remaining drivetrain. Hopefully I'll be able to post a video in the next week regarding that third option that we were considering for the drivetrain. So stay tuned, stay safe and talk to you soon. Bye bye.